Good morning. Today I'm going to do a presentation on the company Maple Tree Industrial. A little bit of background on Maple Tree. Maple Tree is a real estate company that focuses its business in Asia. The company is listed on 21st October 2010. As at 31st March 2014, Maple Tree has an asset under management of $6.24.6 billion. Maple Tree has penetrated most of the major Asia countries, for example, China, India, Hong Kong, and Japan. Now, moving on to the fundamental analysis. This analysis will be used to analyze this company so that we can have a better understanding of it. This technique is used to analyze stocks to understand companies' financial standings. Using the information, we are able to tell if the stock is undervalued among similar companies in the same industry. This will also show method of managing the company and the ability of the current board of directors managing the company. Now, moving on to earning per shares. Earning per share serves as an indicator of a company's profitability. Cal earning per share is calculated using net income minus the dividends on preferred stocks divided by the average outstanding stocks. Earning per share for the financial year ended 31st March 2012 was 14.1 cents and 17.11 cents for the financial year that ended 31st March 2013. Current earning per share in for Maple Tree Industrial Maple Tree Industrial is 18.96 cents. Maple Tree earning per share has gradually increased over the years from 14.1 cents to 17.11 cents until today which is 18.96 cents now moving on to current ratio the current ratio is a liquidity ratio that measures a company's like ability to pay short-term obligations these short-term obligations are short-term liabilities the current ratio is calculated using current asset divided by the current liabilities the higher the ratio, the more capable the company is able to pay off its obligations. Thus, having a current ratio of less than 1 will not be very good. In Maple Tree's case, it has current ratio for the quarter and June 2014 is 0.27. For the financial year of 2013, it has a current ratio of 0 0.3 and for 2012, it has a current ratio of 0 0.7. There's a sharp drop of 0 0.4 in between these years. Based on the above 3 year trend, we can see that there's a steady decline in the current ratio. This is not a very good sign and it indicates that the company may have difficulty meeting its current obligations or current liabilities. However, these low values do not indicate a critical problem for Maple Tree. If Maple Tree has a good long-term prospects, it may be able to borrow against those prospects to meet current obligations. Now we move on to the return on equity. Return on equity measures a corporation's profitability by revealing how much profit a company generates with the money shareholders have invested on them. It is the return on equity is calculated by having the net income divided by the shareholders' equity. Maple Tree current return on equity for the latest financial year is 10.6%. For the financial year of 2013, they had a return on equity of 12.8% and the year of 2012, they had a return on equity of 9.7%. From the above information, we can see that currently Maple Tree's return on equity is not very stable and it might continue to drop or it might continue to rise but it is very hard to tell 
the instabili instability can be seen from the rise of 32% from 2012 to 2013. But there is also a sharp drop from 2013 to 2014 from 12.8% to 10.6%. Now we move on to the SWOT analysis. Firstly will be the strengths. The population in Singapore is constantly on the rise. Therefore, there will be a need to have more housing. There will be a need, there will be a rise for the need of housing. The, the spending power of Singapore is also very high because it is a developed country and people are earning more money as we speak. Therefore, there will be a need for commodities like shopping malls so that they can spend their money somewhere. Now moving on to the weaknesses. Singapore is a very small island and therefore the price of land is very expensive. There is also very, a very limited amount of land. Therefore, it is very difficult to obtain a good place to build as there is very little land left. Now moving on to the opportunities. Singapore is allowing more foreign talent into the country. And Singapore is also encouraging more people to give birth, thus increasing population and demand for housing. This applies to the foreign talent as well as these foreigners require a place to live. And some of these foreigners might bring money into Singapore and they might also, they might also spend their money in shopping centers. Now we move on to the threats. One of the major threats that I have seen is this is that Singapore has recently implemented a law which forbids people to purchase a HDB unit if they currently own a condo or, or better. This is a very detrimental to Maple Tree as they commonly they will build condo and if people will think twice to buy a condo as they have a HDB. They do not want to lose the privilege to purchase a HDB. In conclusion, looking at the earning per share, we can see a gradual increase, but the current ratio shows that the company currently is not looking good in the short term. Using a SWOT analysis, the threats and weaknesses greatly outweigh the strength an opportunity as the recently implemented law that forbids people to own a HDB and condo is very restrictive. Even though opportunities might have a major impact on the company, it is all very long term. For example, the increase in population for when Singapore encourages child's birth, they do have to wait many years for the children to grow up so that they can purchase houses. In conclusion, I feel that I should not invest in the company. We come to the end of the presentation. Thank you for your attention.